In the story of collage, it's very simple. You have this kind of prehistory of artistic collage in the Victorian British culture. Then you have the invention of collage in Paris by uh, Braque and Picasso. And here you have what Clement Greenberg called the revolution of the papier collé, because it was really a, the invention of modern art, in a way. Then you have Max Ernst, who reinvent collage in a very different way with this uh, 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 attitude uh, of, st of storytelling, which you didn't have in Picasso and Braque, or a little bit, a little bit, actually, but not so much. And Max Ernst uses much more than Braque and Picasso uh, the imagery of illustration. Uh, we are back to this idea of illustration we were mentioning yesterday. And then you have the fourth step, if you consider that the prehistory is a step, so you have the fourth step, which is Kurt Schwitters, Kurt Schwitters, uh, with the real inventor of assemblage, as a development of collage. The difference between collage and assemblage is very simple. Uh, it is the possibility of three-dimensionality, the development, excuse me, because you have it, the possibility in collage since the very beginning, because what makes a collage is the uh, heterogeneity of the material. But with assemblage, what you have is the accomplishment of this potential development of uh, the heterogeneity of material in the, in the, in the environment, in the uh, uh, in the space uh, uh, beyond the tableau. Uh, so, uh, so the, uh, the assemblage coming from the collage is typically a transformation of the tableau form. One of these transformations of the tableau form I was mentioning. And probably one of the most fascinating. I, I, I could show you an example of a Yes, yes, but the real transformation comes with the assemblage in Schwitters, because then you are back to the tableau. Then you are really in the tableau. But the, a new kind of tableau, because as I said, if you understood huh, what I say, said, if, the, if, you, if you understood that the tableau is a form, and that this form is open to transformations, then you have a perfect example of it in the tableau collage of Schwitters what was London in the 50s. There was no café, no collection of modern art, uh, some little surrealism, uh, but a lot of people who were, a lot of young people who wanted to make art, who were quite informed uh, about art, about what, was, what happened in France, about surrealism, uh, very, very full of energy, and there was just one place for them to, to gather, the uh, uh, ICA. It was the only place. Uh, and when you have such a concentration, most of the time something happens. Because you have to understand that art is about concentration. When, when something happens, it's because several good people can work together. The idea of the artist isolated is completely stupid. It doesn't exist. There are few exceptions of artists able to make a real body of work uh, by, by themselves. There are only exceptions, and very rare exceptions. Art is about groups of people working together, concentration. It doesn't need hundreds of people, as we think now. It's so stupid. We are in such a stupid moment for that. We are so, so far from the real uh, conditions of, of creation. It's why there are so, excuse me to tell it, so little good art in what is called contemporary. Because there is no concentration enough. When you look at what was happening in the 50s in London, you had such a, a strong concentration uh, among these young people. And they were meeting in this only place, you know. And the fact that there was w only one place was at the end quite good. Because they had to go there, all of them. <laughs> you see what I mean? It produced a concentration. You see? It's why sometimes you have very good art, 
in, in, in this kind of situations of marginality, you know, because people are compelled to work together, you know. It's not everybody needs, uh, you know. Now the market is too strong as a mediator between the artists, much too strong. So the artists don't work together anymore. They are together through the market. It's, it's why uh, there are many problems. Okay, anyway, so, anyway, well, uh, nobody has to decide these kind of things. I mean, it's... And... Lawrence Holloway is worth people looking at, actually. Yes, Lawrence Holloway is one of these people. He's one of these very good people. There, there is Lawrence Holloway, there is uh, Richard Hamilton, there is Nigel Anderson, there is Paolo Zi, there is... Uh, Rainer Banam, I mean, ten very, very good people. Okay. And they work together. They are full of curiosity. They want to uh, displace the surrealism in another field, in the field of technology, uh, of, uh, of technical culture. Because surrealist, the surrealist, with the exception of Duchamp, which is very interesting in that we are not so interested in technology and techniques and so on. But these people are, and they are also very influenced by Duchamp, at least two of them, Nigel, I mean, several of them, but Nigel Anderson and, and, and Hamilton. And don't forget that the one who tells Hamilton uh, uh, that he should look at the uh, green box, Huh? The, so the green box is the box with all the documents of, of the Grand Vert, huh? of the uh, 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 large large uh, uh, glass. glass. The one who uh, uh, tells Hamilton you should see that is Nigel Anderson. Okay, so so you have these people, and when they do their shows very crazy shows with documents everywhere, things suspended. Uh, I mean, this kind of uh, 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 buildings. Uh, they are building exhibitions. Uh. Of course, they have, they have in mind the model of Dada Messe, the famous show of the, of the Dadaist in Berlin in 1920. They have the example of the surrealist show, shows. They have the example of um, uh, uh, Schwitters, the Merzbau. And Schwitters was ended his life in, uh, in Great Britain, uh, in Newport. Uh, he, he made a, a piece in Newport, which is very interesting, actually. You can still see it in the university. Um, it's worthwhile going there, even if Newport is a difficult city. Anyway, that's something else. Uh, <laughs> um, but, um, so they have all these models, and when they do the shows, they produce a kind of they produce kind of image of of, the, of themselves, of the group they form. You know, you know what I mean. They, they are this group, and each of them is bringing things. You know, bringing some. Uh, trouvaille, you know, then you are back to the idea of trouvaille. And, and they put all these things together to, you know, project a kind of image of, 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 of themselves as a group, because they don't exist as a group. They are just people who know each other, and each of their shows is made by three or four of them. But it's not a group with a chief. Like, the surrealism, with, like surrealism with Breton, you know, Breton is a, the king. You know, there is not such a thing. So, so their shows is uh, the image of this kind of group they form, this kind of uh, informal group they form. You see? So, because don't forget that art is always, in a way, about identity. Uh, in a, about inventing identity, personal identity, individual identity, group identity, and so on, and so on. And there, in that case, you know, it was... There was a, uh, an urgent, uh, it was urgent for these young people to invent a new culture. Something new, because, you know, it, it was impossible. You imagine what was the British official culture in the 50s? It was dead. So, you know, they had to invent something, and that's really good for art. <laughs> 
<laughs> when you have to, when you are forced to invent something, when it's a matter of life or death, you are forced to invent and you are concentrated. Then there is good art. So, and then they produce these, these uh, 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 amazing exhibitions. But Hamilton, and then we have a good transition, is the product of this uh, moment, and from my point of view, is absolutely the best. And we, I would like to uh, show you why. Why is so good? So this is his most famous collage. I don't. I will not say anything about it. You can. You can read uh, thousands of pages about this. It is supposed to be the invention of pop art. I mean, I don't know. Just I, to give the title. I don't know and I don't care. So then, <laughs> no. Uh, then you have the cover of the show, uh, the independent group. This is the, the, the book you must uh, uh, read and look at and read. This collage is not the invention of pop art, but for sure it is the first interior painting of interior or, uh, in uh, uh, interior painting, let's put it like that, uh, by Hamilton. But it's not a tableau. It's a collage, uh, but it could be a tableau, it could be uh, developed as a tableau, and it's exactly what Hamilton did afterwards. When Hamilton uh, uh, painted his real tableau d'intérieur, in a way, he developed the potential of this collage. Okay? And it's what I want to show you now. How he developed this potential and the way he did it and, and why we can uh, 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 say that uh, he reinvented the tableau d'intérieur. Yeah? He reinvented because there is never any real invention. Huh? Most of the time artists are reinventing yeah? something which already existed, which is okay, huh? it's perfectly okay, no problem. <laughs> This is a wonderful um, um, uh, painting made, which was supposed to be a decoration for a very uh, fashionable restaurant in London, which I think does exist yet, yes. the Langan. Langans. Lang Langans. I've never been there. Is it good? Very expensive, no? It's finished? Uh -huh. But it's very fashionable. Ah. So it uh, it was a, a painting which was supposed to be one of the elements of decoration in the restaurant. So it is showing what was the restaurant before the uh, restoration, and you have an inclusion of um, a view. So you have two views: a view, a general view. I mean, not general, but a large view. Let's say of the restaurant before restoration, and you have a, a, a closer view uh, of the table in the new restaurant. Uh, and so you have the inclusion of, in the same uh, tableau, of two uh, images uh, of two different times, periods. Okay? So you have a kind of combination of times. In times, in the same space, no, times uh, uh, of a combination of, di of two different, two di oh shit, it's impossible. No, I mean, it's a combination in one tableau of, of, of two views of the same space at two different moments. Same place, excuse me, but space, place. Donc, a combination in one tableau of, of, the, of two views of the same place at two different moments. Voilà, that's the thing. Then, you have the most famous. 
uh, works, uh, the most famous, the two most famous paintings of interiors by Hamilton, which are called Interior One, Interior Two. This is Interior One, and then Interior Two. Interior Two, you know it, I, I hope so, because it's in the Tate model. Uh, interior One, maybe you don't know, it is in uh, Zurich, in the Kunsthaus, and it is presented like that. Uh, it means that it is uh, for uh, the curator who did this uh, presentation a pop painting because on the left you have uh, no full uh, tondo by this very bad uh, American painter called Wesselman who used to interpret some uh, nudes by Matisse in a pop way. It's almost the only thing he ever did in his life, you imagine, the level. Um, this is pop art, the normal level of pop art, the normal level of that stupidity called pop art. And, and uh, uh, on, the, and on the end, on the, on the other wall, you have um, this double portrait by uh, a Swiss uh, artist called Franz Gersh, which is even maybe worse than uh, Wesselmann, if it's possible. Anyway, uh, <coughs> this is a kind of craziness you see in the museums most of the time. This kind of uh, connection, stupid connections, which, made, which make people really stupid and which really prevent people to look and to have experience, real experience of art. Because the, the wonderful painting tableau by Hamilton is killed, totally killed by the uh, 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 con uh, combination with these two other paintings, which are uh, 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 bad, but, but at, at the end it, it's not so much the, the worst. That, that, that they are bad is not such a problem. The, the real problem is that they have nothing to do with the painting by Hamilton. That the only connection they have, these three paintings, is a, a, a vague uh, idea of pop art. So that's exactly what you must not do in your uh, 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 experience of art. If you want, first, to have a real experience, and second, maybe to produce something good in your own art. Uh, There, there, the two uh, interiors together. You see the difference, differences. I should comment, but I have no time anymore. And in a way, it's easy for you at least to go to see the interior too. You can go and look at it, at the real thing and you have a book with a reproduction of the first one, and you compare, and you, if you spend uh, some time, it will, it will be very nice for you to do it. Uh, the interesting point is that uh, Hamilton uh, produced also several uh, uh, paintings related to the two interiors, and uh, uh, considering these paintings, naming these paintings, étude, studies. Paintings, no, collage. No, collage, excuse me, collage. Uh, no, no, yes, yes, they are on paper. Uh, the, the three of them are on paper and they are smaller. But what is interesting is that they call them étude. Étude, studies, studies. No? So he's using the uh, uh, typology I was uh, describing yesterday. It's a very important point because Hamilton always considered himself as, in a way, a traditional artist. It's why he cannot be pop. You know, uh, 
so and he is using uh, uh, using this um, this category of of the of the study. Um, here you have a text by by him. I let you read it, which is very beautiful. Any interior is a set of anachronism, an anachronism. You can remember this: a set of anachronism. Every a, any interior is a set of anachronism. Huh? anachronisms. Anachronisms. It's a wonderful sentence. So true. <laughs> So then you have to deal with this anachronism. And it's what he does in his interiors, in his tableau d'intérieur. Then this is the uh, photograph he used. It is come on this photo plateau. No, photo de plateau. Yes, yes, but photo de plateau. Um this film set um it's a set photo. Set photo, that's a set stage. No, 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 it's not stage photo. No, you know, when, when, so when you make a film, a picture film, you can ask a photographer to make photos during the, the sessions of filmmaking. And these photos are called in French, photo de plateau. What is the English word? You, see? you don't have this notion? Mm -hmm. We make the distinction between this photo de plateau and, still. and the stairs inside the film. Yeah. And for us, it's completely different. And in fact, it is completely different mm -hmm. because the photographer who makes this kind of photos during the the, the filming, mm -hmm. uh, he, he gets something you will not find in the film. You will never find in the film the, the, this image. Even if you decompose the film. Anyway, so the story, we, we have the story. Uh, raconte. Alors, you see, you can compare the photos he used with the first version, then with the second version. So you see that in a way it's farther and farther from the original. Uh, and there, what he, he says about it. Ah, so this photo de plateau uh, was shot during the filming, filming of uh, a, a film by Douglas Sirk called Shock Proof. Doug Shock Proof. Douglas Sirk is the uh, major uh, author uh, of melodramas. He's even the inventor of the melodrama in uh, modern cinema. Very, very interesting uh, filmmaker, fantastic filmmaker. So intelligent also. I mean, very interesting uh, artist.
So, he, he, and, um, Hamilton uh, uh, told also the, the story of, of, of how he, he, found, he found this image, but this I don't have. Uh, he, no. No, this is about the, the, the second interior. So we don't have, but it's not so, uh, uh, it has not to be so precise. He was, uh, that's funny, he was teaching in Newcastle. That's right. There's a, there's a link to Antonioni in Blower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, so it's very interesting, he was teaching there and he was with uh, all his students and he was asking them to bring things. They were, you know, you know, we are back to what I was mentioning before, you know, les images trouvées, les trouvailles, and so on, but, you know, with this spirit of building together something. And at the end of the day, you imagine the studio was full of, of these piece, uh, pieces of paper everywhere, images everywhere on the floor, and so on, and the, the students had left, and he was by himself, and he was, he said, attracted by this image. Voilà. <coughs> so, he, he used it, and he used it, it, sw it transformed it to make these two tableaux, tableaux d'intérieur. This is the second one. Huh? The one which is at the Tate, in the Tate model. En juin? Qu'est-ce qu'il y aura en juin? Ah! Peut-être, peut-être. Peut-être, j'espère pour vous. <rire> Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, um, yes, yes, yes. Ah, yes. Uh, yes, really. I don't know that. It's in uh, his collected writings? I don't think so. It's a, it's a very odd document. And ah. It, it, it's something that uh, Antonio, and also this sort of sense of evidence, and you know, that picture's a seal of crime. Yeah, 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 yes, of course, of course. Of course, of, but, but, but he does with it, no, no, it's very interesting, but what he does with it is very different. So, we shall finish tomorrow morning, because it's a pity, it's a pity to, uh, to go too fast.